Welcome everyone. So, now we will continue our previous lecture. It is India about Indian pharmacopoeia. History of pharmacopoeia followed by Indian pharmacopoeia. Now, in our previous classes, we had discussed about Indian pharmacopoeia 2010. So, now we will continue with Indian pharmacopoeia 2014. Indian pharmacopoeia 2014. The seventh edition of the Indian pharmacopoeia that is IP 2014 was published by the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission. On behalf of the Government of India, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So, Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014 was the seventh edition of the Indian Pharmacopoeia. As we have already discussed, the first edition of the Indian Pharmacopoeia was published in the year 1955. Followed by that, another six editions were published till 2010. Several addendums and supplements were added to the Indian Pharmacopoeia every, sing every year. Now, moving on to Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014. The Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014 is also known as the 7th edition. It was published by the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission, IPC, on behalf of Government of India, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Moving on further, the Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014 is present in 4 volumes. As we have seen, the previous pharmacopoeias, they were present in three volumes. But Indian Pharmacopoeia for 2014 was present in four volumes. The scope of the pharmacopoeia has been extended to include additional drugs like anti-cancer drugs, anti-retroviral drugs, anti-cancer drugs, anti-retroviral drugs and formulation products of biotechnology, indigenous herbs, herbal products, veterinary vaccines, etc. As we have just seen, our Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014 had a scope to include a number of new category of drugs, a number of those drugs which were not present previously. They included anti-cancer drugs, anti-retroviral drugs, formulation products of biotechnology, indigenous herbs and herbal products and drugs for veterinary uses, drugs for veterinary Vax, I am sorry, veterinary vaccines basically, veterinary vaccines, drugs for veterinary use was already published in the previous pharmacopoeia. Veterinary vaccines were included in this pharmacopoeia, that is the 7th edition of Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014. Now, the IP 2014 incorporates 2550 monographs, 2550 monographs of drugs out of which 577 are new monographs, 577 of them are new monographs consisting of active pharmaceutical ingredients, excipients, dosage forms and herbal products and herbal products. Now, till our in our previous editions, if you see, there is always an increase, a marginal increase in the number of monographs in every new editions. That is, in every new editions, a number of new drugs are being included and those drugs which are obsolete, which are not being used these days are being removed. These numbers are very important, 2550 monographs of drugs are included, are incorporated in the Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014, out of which 577 of those monographs are new. 577 of those monographs are new. They consist of APIs, that is active pharmaceutical ingredients, excipients, dosage forms and herbal products. A list of 577 new monographs which were not present in the Indian Pharmacopoeia 2010 are mentioned here. As we have already discussed in the previous paragraph, a list of 577 new monographs were present, which were not present in IP 2010 are included in this edition. 
This edition contains 313 monographs. ये जो हम 577 number देख रहे हैं, हम अभी उसका division देखेंगे. That this 577 are divided into 313 monographs on drug substance, dosage forms and pharmaceutical aids, starting from alphabet A to Z. A to Z. Apart from this, apart from this 313 uh, three, uh, new monographs on drug substances, 43 new monographs, 31, uh, the 43 monographs which we are talking about, they are about drug substances. They are about drug substances. Apart from this, 10 antibiotic monographs are also added. Out of, 300 and th out of 577, 313 new monographs on drug substances are added, 43 new drugs are added. Apart from this, 10 antibiotic monographs are added, 31 herbal monographs were added, 5 vaccines and immunosera for human use, they were included and 6 insulin products, they were again included inside this, in 6 insulin and biotechnology products were included along with 19 new general chapters. So, the 577 monographs which we are talking about included 313 new monographs of drug substances, 43 new drug substances, 10 antibiotics, 31 herbal monographs, 5 vaccines and immunosera for human use, 6 insulin products and biotechnology products along with 19 general chapters, along with 19 general chapters. Now, moving on further, this is our Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014. This is our Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014. Now, moving on further towards Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018. Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018. The 8th edition of Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018 has specific way of presentation and consists of four volumes. Now, the eighth edition or Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018 or the most recent edition of Indian Pharmacopoeia has a specific way of presentation and they consist of four volumes. Volume number one, volume number two, volume number 3 and volume number 4. Now, we will see how our Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018 looks like. So, this is how our Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018 looks like. So, now we will learn about the monograph status of Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018. What is a monograph? In the previous class also, we had discussed about this. So, I will just uh, give a brief introduction about the monograph again. What is a monograph? Well, a monograph is the component of a pharmacopoeia which has got information about molecular weight, atom structural properties, chemical nature, physical properties, method of synthesis, analytical procedures, storage, all the information about the storage, impurities, limit for impurities about a specific drug substance, about a specific drug. So, a monograph contains all these details about a drug. Now, IP 2018 contain 170 chemical monographs. IP 2018 contain 170 chemical monograph. These chemical monographs further contain 49 active pharmaceutical ingredient monographs of 49 API. They contain 64 formulation monographs, alright. They contain 64 formulation monographs, 53 fixed dose combinations monographs, 2 excipients and 2 antibiotics. When I say 170 chemical monographs, then these 170 chemical monographs include API, formulations, fixed dose combinations, excipients and antibiotics. 
we have tried to mention individual numbers of these components. We have tried to mention individual numbers of these monographs. Now, after chemical monographs, IP 2018 contain biological monographs. It contain 18 biological monographs. IP 2018 contains 18 biological monographs. Now, what are these biological monographs? What are the contents of these biological monographs? Well, the biological monograph contain two vaccines and immunocera, six biotechnology derived therapeutic products, two vaccines and immunocera, six biotechnology derived therapeutic products, 10 blood and blood related products. 10 blood and blood related products. Now, apart from this IP 2018, apart from all these IP 2018 contain 15 herbal monographs, 3 radio pharmaceutical monographs, 14 veterinary and non biological monographs. So, out of the monographs present in 2018, this is the division 170 chemical monographs, 18 biological monographs, 15 herbal monographs, 3 radio pharmaceutical monographs, 14 veterinary and non biological monographs. So, this is the IP 2018 monograph status. Moving on further. Let us just look into the salient features of Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018. Here through these slides, we are trying to grab the salient features or the important features of Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018. Now, Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018 contain 220 new entries, 220 new entries as we have seen in this these are those 220 new entries which are included in IP 2018. 366 alterations have been made to Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014. Indian Pharmacopoeia 2014 mein 366 monographs jo hain wo alter kiye gaye hain jisse bana hai hamara Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018. 53 new fixed dose combination monographs have been included here. Alright, into the IP 2018, into the Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018, 53 new fixed dose combination monographs have been included, out of which 25 fixed dose combination monographs are not available in any pharmacopoeia. Clear all of you? See, 53 new fixed dose combinations are included here, jin mein se 5 fixed dose combinations aise hai which are not present in any pharmacopoeia. 10 new general chapters on pharmaceutical, microbiological and biologicals have been incorporated here. 10 new general chapters on microbiological and biologicals have been included in the Indian pharmacopoeia 2018. General chapters as we have seen here, general chapters mainly on tablets, capsules, volumetric glasswares, maintenance, identification, preservation and disposal of microorganisms have been revised. See, these general chapters basically consist of information about general topics like tablets, capsules, volumetric glasswares, maintenance, identification, preservation and disposal of microorganisms. All these topics have been refreshed, they have been looked into, they have been revised in Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018. Now, Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018 also contains monographs on general chapters like disintegration and dissolution. These chapters are upgraded to harmonize with the prevailing international requirements. Okay. So, the general chapters on disintegration and dissolution, the general chapters on disintegration and dissolution has been upgraded to harmonize with the prevailing international requirements in our Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018. Now, standards for new drugs, drugs under national health program 
and drugs in national list of essential medicines have been included. This is a very important information here, wherein standards for new drugs, drugs under national health program and drugs in national list of essential medicines. These drugs have been included under our Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018. Now, another important inclusion of Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018 is pyrogen test. See, pyrogen test which was being previously used for test for microorganisms have been replaced by bacterial endotoxin tests for the parenteral preparations, for the parenteral preparations, alright. So, here the bacterial endotoxin test replaces the previously used pyrogen test. Bacterial endotoxin test replaces the previously used pyrogen test. Now, moving on further, 10 monographs of blood grouping reagents have been included. 10 monographs of blood grouping reagents have been included for the first time. Vaccines and immunocera for human use has been upgraded. The vaccine and immunocera monographs for human use has been upgraded in view of the latest technological development. New essential oils, monographs, crude herbal drugs and extracts have been incorporated. Alright, this is a very important thing to note that essential oils, crude herbal drugs and their extracts have been incorporated in our Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018. For ease of access and to make ph our pharmacopoeia more user friendly, index has been incorporated in volume 1. Index has been incorporated in volume 1. This is another novelty to our Indian Pharmacopoeia 2018. Now, along with that, IP 2018 has been incorporated with a security feature. IP 2018 has been incorporated with security feature to avoid counterfeiting. Now, with this we wrap up about the history of Indian Pharmacopoeia. Here we have seen the different editions of Indian Pharmacopoeia right since 1955 till 2018. What were the different editions? How were they different from the previous editions? What are the inclusions? How many monographs were included? How many were deleted? All these numbers are of utmost importance. So, now wrapping up our Indian Pharmacopoeia information, we move on towards British Pharmacopoeia. British Pharmacopoeia. We will have a very brief glance about the British Pharmacopoeia and the United States Pharmacopoeia, which we, which we generally refer for preparing our own Indian Pharmacopoeia. The British Pharmacopoeia is the National Pharmacopoeia of the United Kingdom. It is the National Pharmacopoeia of the United Kingdom. It is an annual published collection of quality standards for United Kingdom medical substances. It is used by individuals and organizations involved in pharmaceutical research, development, manufacturing and testing. In the year 1864, the British Pharmacopoeia was published by combining the three old and reputed pharmacopoeia. So, the British Pharmacopoeia came into existence with the help of three pharmacopoeias, which is Pharmacopoeia Londensis, 1618, Edinburgh Pharmacopoeia, 1699 and Dublin Pharmacopoeia, 1807. So, with the help of these three pharmacopoeia, British pharmacopoeia came into existence. The second edition was released in the year 1867. Range of diagnostic materials was included in the year 1932 revision. Seven addenda covered the interim between 1932 and the next edition came out in the year 1948. In the 1948 edition, for substances newly introduced into medicine, generic names were provided. A very important information in the addenda 1948, in the edition 1948, the generic names were provided for the drugs. Method of analysis such as disintegration tests for tablets and sterilization methods were expanded in this edition. The next edition was released in the year 1953. The next edition was released in the year 1953. The ninth edition contains 160 new monographs, spectrophotometric analysis 
and inclusion of tranquilizing drugs. The British Pharmacopoeia 2013 comprises of six volumes which contains nearly 3000 monographs. The volume 1 and 2 deals with medicinal substances, volume 3 describes about formulated preparations, blood related preparations, immunological products, radio pharmaceutical preparations, surgical materials and homeopathic preparations. The volume 6 contains appendixes about infrared reference spectra and index. <coughs> the volume 5 is for veterinary purpose. The volume 6 is the CD-ROM version of British Pharmacopoeia. British Pharmacopoeia 2014 comprises of 5 volumes and a single volume of British Pharmacopoeia Veterinary 2014. As uh, we will just have a brief highlights of British Pharmacopoeia. It was legally effective from 1st January 2014. 40 new B British Pharmacopoeia monographs are included. 272 were amended, 3 new supplementary chapters were included, 4 new BP wet monographs are included, 1 new BP supplementary chapter is included. It was free in year update, it consists of free in year updates. Now moving on to United States Pharmacopoeia, it is a pharmacopoeia for the United States, published annually by the United States Pharmacopoeial Convention. The USP is published in a combined volume with the national formulary also known as USPNF. In 1817, Dr. Lyman Spalding proposed a plan to publish National Pharmacopoeia to the Medical Society of the country at New York. On 15 December 1820, the first edition of, Indian of the US Pharmacopoeia was published with 217 drugs in about 272 pages. After the gap of 10 years, further editions of USP came into picture. The ninth edition of USP was published in the year 1905. However, it was given the title USP 8 as it shows it was the 8th revision. Very important point here. The 9th edition, the 9th edition of USP was published in the year 1905. This 9th edition was given the name volume 8, USP 8. Alright. So, it is because it was the 8th revision. 9th edition was named as USP 8 because it was the 8th revision. Pharmacopoeia must be revised every 5 years was suggested in 1940. Now, on, on July uh, 5th of 1974, USP and NF national formulary were combined. United States of Pharmacopoeia was combined with the national formulary in the year 1974. The 22nd edition of USP combined 17th edition of national formulary. It was published in 1990. It was published in 1990. The USP 36 national formulary 31 was published on November 1st, 2012 in English. It became official from May 1st, 2013. The highlights and features are that it contains 4600 monographs with specifications for identity, strength, quality, purity, packaging and labeling for substances and dosage form. It also comprises of more than 260 general chapters, providing clear step-by-step -step guidance for essays, tests and procedures. Most recent USP is our USP 2020, which is USP 43, National Formulary 38. It is USP 43, National Formulary 38. Very important points which has to be considered here is USP was combined with national formulary only in the year 1974, only after 1974. <coughs> so, USP, United State of Pharmacopoeia till 1980 was known as USP, but after 1980 it came to, it came into picture as USPNF, USP national formulary, USPNF. This is a very important information. And another important information is the most recent USP. As we say, USP, it was published in the year 2020. It was named as USP 43, National Formulary 38. So, here we have the reference of uh, the books which we have used for preparing our subject matter. Thank you.